Hey everyone, this is Daniel. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can access the Power Apps Copilot and the modern controls. Now in the past, I've done videos on both of these topics. But in this video, I want to show you how you can go ahead and get an early access to this in your own tenant. And so it's very important that you watch this short video because there are some quick steps that you can do and get that access. But first, here's my intro video. So these are the two videos I was referring to in my introduction. The first one was released on April 3rd, and that is the introduction of the modern controls coming to the Power Apps Canvas. The second one was released on April 24th, and this is about how you can go ahead and use the AI Copilot along with Power Apps. Now, both the videos are very applicable. In the first one, you can actually go and see how I've shown a side-by-side -side comparison between the existing Canvas app designer with these new functionalities of modern controls that are coming in. Very applicable. Also, in the next video, I've actually shown you how you can go ahead and use the AI Copilot to go ahead and basically use that to build the original app and then how you can go ahead and create the Dataverse table and how you can also go ahead and improve the app. So both the videos, very applicable. In this video, I'm actually going to show you how you can go ahead and now get those features a little faster. And so that's what I want to walk you through. So let me go through the first scenario, which is getting a preview access to the overall powerapps.com. Now, you might have already done this, where you actually went ahead and requested for the preview access. And therefore, now you've got this AI generated content type access to create the Power Apps Canvas app and the Dataverse table for you. You might have already had this one. So this is the first type of scenario. There's also the second type of scenario where you don't have that at all. Your tenant, your Power Apps, your environments does not have this. In fact, this is what it looks like. So I'll actually cover both of them, all right? So let's go to the first one. This one, again, is my personal tenant. I do have the AI feature over here, but I do not have the overall preview functionalities of Power Apps to at least go ahead and try and test and play with it. But to do that, all you have to do is go ahead and actually change this URL. So check this out. I went and clicked on the section before Power Apps. So right after the make, it is make dot, and over there, go ahead and type in preview, hit another dot or a period, and then after this, I go ahead and hit enter. And the whole all new look, the beautiful new look directly comes in. And now you've got full access to this. See, this is actually even a huge improvement from the first AI powered preview feature that came in you know, which one I actually demoed in the first video. This is a so much more cleaner, more improved way. Um, and it still has the overall same process, uh, but it is the whole new look. And the way on the top right, it gives you the functionality. Hey, do you want to try this new apps? And you've already gone and toggled it on. You can always go ahead and, you know, um, remove the preview and you haven't lost anything. You haven't changed anything. Don't worry about that. Uh, it just gives you an early access to go and see how it looks like. Same thing works for the other environment as well. This is actually a whole separate tenant of mine. And as you can see over here, I had not requested early access to the preview. Uh, so this is basically how it was. Uh, but for the same one, I can come in and for the make dot, I go ahead and type in preview, hit another dot or period, hit go ahead and enter. And over here too, you go ahead and see the new and improved version. The only thing is you do not have the AI Copilot, but you get the full preview of the new design that is coming into Power Apps. Something to keep in mind that this only works for powerapps.com. It doesn't work for Power Automate. And I'll prove that to you. I'm going on the top left to the app launcher. I'll go ahead and select Power Automate. It opens up another tab over there, which I love. I don't have to go and click around. It created another tab for you. And then now in this functionality, if I go to the make dot, and if I go and now type in preview, and if I hit enter, it automatically changes back to the original make.powerautomate.com. And it gives me the same look that I have. So I just want to call that out, that everything I showed you to go ahead and get that early access to the preview only works for powerapps.com it does not work for Power Automate. So this is the first scenario. Now let's go and take a look at the modern controls inside the Canvas Studio. So I'm gonna go and click on the plus new app, click on Canvas, I'll go ahead and give this app a name, and I'm gonna click on create. Now after I've done create, it is getting things ready, and it is now gonna go and get us into the studio. Here we go, we've now inside the studio, I'll go and click on skip. Here on the left side, if I click on insert, you will see that I don't see the modern controls over here. This is what I've actually shown you how it works. 
And just to prove that point, if I click on settings, and if I click on settings, I go to the upcoming features. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, leave it on preview, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, you will see the functionality for try out the modern controls. Okay, if you click on it and on, um, you will see that the modern controls show up over here, right? This is basically how it is. You are familiar with this, but there's another way to do it. First of all, I'll just go and save the app just to make sure that I haven't lost anything. Uh, and if you want, you can go ahead and publish this as well. So I'll just do that as well. Okay, I'm gonna click on the publish uh, just to make sure that the pub uh, then uh, the whole version of all these controls and the control, uh, the studio version is now part of this app. But next, go click on settings, go to support, and then go ahead and upgrade the authoring version. So the existing one that we have, it's, it's important that you understand the versions, which one you have. It is that 23051.23. When I click on the edit, specifically this pencil icon, and I'll go and click on the authoring version dropdown, you will see that the next highest version is 23053.23. This is the one that we currently have. This is the new one. So I'll go and click on the newest version. I'll click on reload and apply version. It'll go ahead and load the studio all over again, giving you all the same things, saying that getting things ready, going ahead and loading all the studio. And once we are in, I wanna go back to the insert section over there and we'll see the little difference. So the loading on the side is almost complete and it does take a little bit longer because, at least the first time, because it's loading all these new bells and whistles. So I'll click on skip and then I'm gonna click on the insert and right over here, you see that now we don't have uh, the section on the top. In fact, a change has happened. Here, I'll show you what the other one looks like, right? See, they see the side-by-side -side comparison I'm showing you? Now, there is this classic tab. And remember, the classic was the one below. We had the modern controls. But this has become a classic tab now, and now we've got the modern tab. So as you can see how this is functioning, you actually have Microsoft slowly transitioning over to these really slick modern controls, and the existing ones that we have are slowly be going to be called as the classic control. Classic really means that it's gonna slowly fade that off, um, but then you have the new modern controls. Now, don't get alarmed. This is not something that's gonna happen immediately. And it's not that one day you get up and you have all these modern controls and they're gonna break. No, they're doing this in sections, chunk at a time, it's little chunks at a time. But this gives you an early preview of how you can go ahead and first of all, get early access to the modern ones and then start leveraging it to test it. That I can take my existing apps and improve it and this is how it looks like. So everything that I've shown you right now is to do only one thing, which is to test, play and prepare for the future. Please do not go and start leveraging this for your production apps, especially the modern controls, because remember, it is in preview, which means things are subject to change. If they change and your apps break, you cannot submit a Microsoft ticket for them to fix your problem. They will not. That's the whole concept of preview. But I highly, highly recommend you go and build some test scenarios for any future apps that you're gonna build to really see the full functionality of this. So hopefully this video was useful to you, and as always, Keep using Power Apps. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.